chest x-ray interpretation right medial collapse another chest x-ray both lungs are hyperinflated means they have increased volume as a result of loss of elasticity and they appear to be darker uh, which is an indication of COPD chronic obstructive pulmonary disease other than that there is a subtle opacity uh, in right lower lung field if you look closely medial border of the right hemidiaphragm is slightly raised and the right cardiodiaphragmatic angle is a bit more acute as compared to left this is an important clue other than uh, COPD this patient does have another finding and to really convince yourself you'll have to see the lateral view again uh, a barrel shaped thoracic cavity AP diameter or anterior posterior diameter is increased again indicating COPD but what is more obvious is this anterior triangular opacity notice right hemidiaphragm is raised anteriorly only this is left hemidiaphragm which continues with the hard border the opacity is clearly outlining the horizontal feature which is this and the oblique feature which is this the horizontal feature should normally be somewhere here and the oblique feature runs from T4 down to somewhere here so both fissures are displaced the this is a collapsed right middle lobe remember how to differentiate a collapsed lobe from consolidation one feature is loss of volume which is evident in this case the right middle lobe has become smaller the second feature is displacement of fissures so horizontal fissure which should normally be here has been displaced the oblique fissure should normally be somewhere here has also been displaced the so horizontal fissure has moved inferiorly and the oblique fissure has moved up and anterior as well the third important feature of uh, a lung collapse or a collapse of a, a lobe is the absence of air bronchogram which you would normally comment on a PA view rather than a lateral view right middle lobe collapse can often be missed on a frontal radiograph as in this case but if you do see a collapsed right middle lobe on a frontal film you will notice that horizontal fissure has moved inferiorly and medially as a result of collapse often the right hard border will not remain visible a positive cellular sign and often the medial border of right hemidiaphragm is raised as a result of collapse on the lateral film increased opacity from collapsed lobe is often easier to see as compared to a PA view displaced horizontal fissure and oblique fissure and the opacity between these two fissures because of the absence of air make a clearly visible triangle uh, which you can uh, easily see there are a number of reasons that can cause a lobe to collapse but there is always a reason for example a lobe can collapse even in young people with uh, asthma because of mucus plugging in airway that uh, is supplying fresh air to that lobe there has to be something either within a bronchial branch such as mucus plug or something within the wall of the airway for example a tumor or something extrinsic that can compress an airway because of its size for example an enlarged lymph node or tumor outside the bronchus now if you have something within the main bronchus the whole lung will collapse all right if it is something in the left main bronchus the whole left lung will collapse we were talking about right middle lobe here right middle lobe is very small and can collapse to a thin line only a few millimeters in thickness and fibrosis can happen if the lobe remains uh, closed for a long time I would like to thank Dr. Chandra Shekhar for allowing me to use x-rays from his website. This is his website. 
and the video is prepared for academyofprofessionals.com thank you very much